Hi. Okay. First apology, I'm not a professional video maker. I'll try my best. I hope you'll find this video very helpful. As soon as I had this uh, TV box and I started okay. to set it up and started to add some applications, some programs, it started rebooting after sometimes five minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. It depends on what I am doing at the time. Uh, so I've I've just given up on it after research online. The, all the write-ups I saw uh, suggested that I had to uh, flash the up, uh, flash the firmware and update it, uh, do a hard reset. I even contacted the supplier that uh, uh, that sold me this box, and they suggested the same. They sent me some uh, update uh, firmware update files, and they said, "Well, you need to do this." And I was gonna do that actually, but uh, since I didn't have my laptop because I, w I was um, living in another country for a while, I didn't have. I only had my tablet and uh, phones, and I didn't have a cable to connect to the TV box. I just ignored it and I used my other TV box, which I bought coincidentally <laughs> with the same box. It's exactly the same make. It's exactly the same brand. It's uh, from exactly the same vendor. Uh, yet the second one is working but the first one had the problem uh, anyways I'll uh, try to simulate the problem uh, and then I will suggest some very simple solutions that I figured out after I paid attention to it um, uh, I ignored it for two and a half years but uh, thank God I figured out uh, a simple way without updating the firmware without having to reset uh, do a hard reset uh, or anything like that and hopefully I will show you in this video these very simple tricks as I figured out the problem is not really with the firmware or the version of Android you have on the TV box it's actually uh, the design of the casing and the ventilation basically what happens is the CPU gets very hot uh, when you run applications that are CPU intensive and it gets hotter when the CPU tries to write to the storage uh, of the TV box. I uh, have uh, three or four tricks. Uh, you, uh, maybe one will work for you, maybe you need to do two of them or maybe you need to do a combination of them or just the last one. Uh, so I suggest that you watch the video and uh, then take the tricks one at a time and see which one works for you best. I started the box just before uh, recording this video and ran some uh, applications on it. So there are some uh, applications running in the background and lastly you saw Kodi was running. Uh, just to give it some time to uh, to uh, to run and for the CPU to get busy and uh, the temperature will increase. I will attempt to download uh, an application now so that the CPU will attempt to write to the storage and we'll see what happens. Whoa, here it goes. As soon as I hit the install and the application started to download, or attempted to download actually, it just, the box gave up and restarted. Okay, now we start with the solutions. The first thing you need to do is download an FT application, a very small application called CPU Float. This is how it looks like when you first install it. Just drag it anywhere on the screen and it will superimpose itself uh, on the screen. This will give us reading for the CPU uh, or each CPU that you have. If you have quad then you'll have four uh, CPU readings and what's most important is the CPU temperature. 
it's the actual temperature reading of the CPU in real time. When the CPU temperature reaches 70 and above, it is susceptible to restart itself uh, any time that it tries or attempts to write to the storage uh, or caches some uh, some memory buffers to the storage.